Hi, my name is Omar Hussain, Registered Certified Counselor. When people think of mental health, they think, oh, you know, I'm not depressed, I don't have anxiety, why do I need to go? Uh, it's not about that. It's just, it's the point, it's to prevent you from getting to that point if you ever were there and building that resilience in your mind so that if there is a moment or a lapse where you're having a, it's not, it doesn't feel catatonic. It doesn't feel like you're drowning in it. I always say the number one job of a counselor, if anything, is to provide hope. That's all it is. If you are with someone who doesn't make you feel hopeful at the problems that you have or helps you feel like you can overcome those things, you're not the right person. One of the biggest things I think in the beginning, regardless of what the issue is, regardless of whether it is uh, a job related thing, whether it's a relationship, I start off with value. And you know, you ask people what they find that their inherent value is. And, and a lot of the times they'll say, well, my job is my value. I get value from my job. And I say, no, well, what is your value? What is your value beyond what you do? Uh, what we would do is we'd kind of, I give you a list of like 96 values. And we sit there and we go through each one. And I tell you what's important, what's not important, and what's somewhat important. And as you go through them, you see what the client deems important in their lives, and you can kind of see what it connects to. You know, if these are values, or if you've grown up in a religious household, et cetera, they sometimes would be like, I'm not really connected to my faith. And so, but ethically, those are things that you would find in your faith. So you would find a disconnect maybe there in terms of the client being like, I'm removed from that because of blank so-and-so experience. And so just going through that values and being with them, you can see why they value what they value and why they don't value things. And so certain experiences such as like, you know, you know, if someone writes monogamy as a really important thing, or someone says fidelity, right? You can touch to why that is, and that kind of lends itself to exploration in terms of why is that so important now.